how does transmogrification play into becoming undead? We answer this baffling question today. Welcome, Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where we dive into current events, hand out sage life advice, and answer those burning vampire questions, all from the undead perspective. Today's headline, woman arrested after skinny dipping in stranger's pool. Of course, I only read the headline, but just from that, I gather some kind of drugs or alcohol was probably involved, or it should have been. I don't care if it's super hot, and I don't care if you are stoned or drunk. You should not be going into anybody's pool, especially strangers, and you definitely should not do it sans clothing. Respect other people's property. At least enough to not get naked when you're trespassing. Today's life advice comes from peoplesproblems.org and I only take the question headline. I don't love the mother of our six month old child. That's kind of a confusing way to put the headline. And again, I only read the headline, so I didn't read what they put. But just from reading it, it seems that there was an adoption or an in vitro kind of situation happening. Uh, maybe some kind of surrogate pregnancy. So now you have a third person who is the mother of that child. Or, like I said, an adoption. One thing that you have to keep in mind is that you don't have to love the mother. You don't even have to like her or respect her. But she is the child of that she is the mother of that child. That child is hers. Therefore, you are going to have to have her in that child's life. And you are going to need to interact with her. If you want to be involved in that child's life. If you don't, then you say goodbye to both of them and you leave. That is the choice that you have either put up with the mother for the sake of the child or abandon them both. Loving the mother has nothing to do with her being in the child's life. Things are a bit more complicated if that mother is your partner and now you realize that you don't love the mother of your children. In which case Divorce is always an option, and again, that choice is yours. And let me reiterate, if you do want that child in your life, you will have that mother to deal with. Love has nothing to do with it, except the love of a child for their parent. And today's Vampire question. Can fruits become vampires? Pumpkins or watermelons left out too long? 
uh, I don't even understand how this legend got started, except as a way to have people take care of their rotting fruit, maybe? But a vampire is a vampire is a vampire. Fruits cannot become vampires. Uh, the only fruits that are vampires are the ones that dress like Carmen Miranda and have five o'clock shadows. But they're welcome to it and they can do what they want. A vampire must be a person inhabited by a demon. No other creature and nothing inanimate can be a vampire. And that is it for today's show. If you have any questions or would like any life advice, leave a comment below and I will get to it. Like, share, and subscribe. This video, all my videos, and all my stuff. Make me go viral. Check out the links in the description, especially that homepage, mindofmccorkle.com. Lots of stuff there. Check it out. While you're there, you can look at the books section or the tool shed section and find the books that I have written, The Anti-Guru, and Don't Be a Tard, and the book about me, The Hunter Vampire. Buy them, read them, love them, and I'll talk to you again later.